How's it going, everybody? Today we are going to be playing Yormagunder. And we are up against Arachne. And we are playing Yorm to show off how strong he is with Gilded Arrow. And I can explain the reason he's so strong with it uh, in a bit. One thing about Yorm is he cannot use auto attack items. And when I say auto attack items, I mean like Demonic Grip, Telekines, Ring, Polynomicon. Those don't work on him. Like he cannot apply them. However, Gilded Arrow works on Yorm because it's not applying additional damage on his auto attacks. Instead, what it does is it actually increases his auto attack damage like here, like that, like the stat itself, which is then calculated into his auto attack damage. So it's not, uh, it's not plus 15 on every auto. Instead, it's calculated 15 into this stat, which then is calculated into his autos. But either way, it gives him a lot of damage. Uh, the same was true for Hunter's Blessing. That's what I used to build on him. And Gilded Arrow, I it's way stronger late game. And you guys will see why. Now I say Yorm's biggest weakness in duel is that his his objective push has always been terrible. He's pretty good at fighting, his objective push is really bad, and his passive sometimes works to his works to his disadvantage. I forgot to ward that and she took that, but that's okay. Uh however. Hold on. We gotta do some damage look at his damage too good it's too good look at my autos look at my autos <laughs> i could have just sundered it again but i didn't even need to uh but yeah with gilded arrow and when you upgrade it specifically you have so much damage it's not even funny uh like i had a game yesterday where i played jormungandr and i started attacking the phoenix with the ornate arrow or what, what's it called what was it diamond arrow excuse me and i killed the phoenix in like a few seconds <laughs> it was just so fast which is great uh because yorm definitely didn't have that before because you know late game he used to sell hunting plus or whatever and on this map he seems better uh oh i gotta be careful uh, i didn't have to be that careful but oh well i need i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead i messed up i messed up that's okay that guy was tougher than krang I messed up in that fight. I backed up on my two and I didn't hit it. I wasn't really paying attention to how much damage she was doing. So that was bad, but that's okay. Giving her a kill is not a big deal. Uh, she does have meditation, uh, which I don't know how good it is right now. Bracer did get changed, so I guess if you want an item like that, you kind of have to go med. I think upgraded med is cool. But regular med, I don't know how good that is in duel. We could be sneaky too. Did she take this? Oh, she's taking it now. Might be able to kill here. Oh, that didn't hit. I'm so sad. Let's see if we can catch her off. Oh, I don't have the mana, dude. I already have a mana potion. Uh going as well Let's see if we can save a little bit of mana to possibly get a kill here oh she used meditation she did use meditation she's losing a lot of gold here That auto attack damage, though, it's too good. It's too good. Yeah, uh, I believe it was Dr. Plague Hades who came by my stream. And he's been telling me for a while now. He's like, he's like, Gilded Arrow Yorm, you gotta play it. And I kept putting it off. And, I mean, I mean, now that I try it on this map, it's just so good. So good. But he's been telling me forever, so I give credit to him. Uh, he's, she's going Golden Blade. Golden Blade is fine. It's good on Arachne. I build it. I also have Yorm almost diamond. I think I have 950 worshippers on him or so. So that's good. Also, hope you guys have all been having a good week. Uh, today was an important day for me. I finished, I, I have an internship right now. And today was my last day where we presented everything we did. And I was really worried about it, but it went really well. So I'm happy that that's done. Uh, that's kind of what I'm working on right now is just trying to build 
my resume for coding, trying to get more, more stuff with that. But yeah, it was cool. Oh, you are taking so much damage, Rackney. But is she? I'm taking more damage than her. I almost died to mannequins. It'd be funny if I try to kill her. You'd be funny if it worked. <laughs> Uh, I will say I only decided to try and get that kill because A, she was aggressing on me. She wasn't going into her tower. And B, well, let's just back. Uh, she'll kill me if I go for that. And B was because she had no mana. If she had mana, I don't think I would have gone for that. Let's go with Typhons. So good. I love this skin, man. My cat, uh, Copper, I've shown him on my YouTube a few times, but mostly on my stream. He's an orange cat, and I'll hold him like how this skin is, like with his with his arms out, and he just will like look up at me. <laughs> it's so adorable. He loves it. Sometimes he'll just like meow at me until I pick him up and hold him like that. I don't know what it is about it. And then once he's like done, like where he's like, all right, no more. He'll just like lift his back lips up a little bit. But ah, I love that cat. One second, I can pick this up. Ooh, I don't want her getting my tower. If I stand next to her, tower will start attacking her. Okay, never mind. She ran away. Yeah, she has a golden blade. So let's say she was focusing the tower. I could just stand next to her, and her auto attacks will hit me, which will make the tower target her instead of her now. minions, which is great. Wow, I would have killed there. Insane. In fact, I'll still kill if you go back down. Nope, unless I miss. Could I kill if I alt? Maybe, but she's a little hard to hit, I'd say. It depends. But now I'm gonna just alt. Just... No, I didn't get it off! I should have just used my two. I wanted to ult that way I could get the kill and get out safely. If I went for my two, it would have just been kill for kill. But instead, instead, I get neither because I'm so greedy. Cue the greedy comments. Okay, I, I will admit I play very greedy, but it's a fun way to play the game. Playing greedy is so much fun. Like, if I got that kill and got out, that would have been so awesome. She's getting serrated. That is fine with me. I need to get some defense. I'll probably get a breastplate. My auto attacks are starting to hit really hard also, which is cool. Mannequins actually reduces my attack speed, which reduces how fast I get my auto attack back. It's kind of weird. God, use the potions, use the potions. I get one good alt and then I gotta get out. But now we have an entire minion wave? No! Oh no! I thought we would be fine with that. I was kind of thinking I would be able to hit my two when she lands on me, but the two's wind up is just so long. That's okay. That's okay. Gotta make the game even, right? Gotta make it interesting. Let's take some buffs. And then I can start working on my defense. Now, I could get Breastplate, that's what I'm thinking, but I could also get Emperors so that when I dive or when she dives, it's. I don't know it's better. I have enhanced red buff, nice. I need to leave. I need to leave right now. What is slowing me? Did she place another two? I legit don't know what was slowing me. Because the other web should have ran out. That was bad, but at least I lived. 
Out of all the times this game I should have died, that was it, and I got out, which is hilarious. Flea protection. Your middle tower is under attack. Have fleas. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Getting towered at this point does not matter that much. So that's okay. Um. Yeah, I think cooldown will help me more than Emperor's anyways. I already started Tier 1 Breastplate. Yeah, I wish I wish you could build Telekines on Yorm, but you can't. When he came out on PTS, you could, but it was unintentional. It was a bug. I don't have my one, so I can't do anything cool yet. I can't see. I can't see. I missed because I literally can't see anything. Dude, that archway... Fighting in that archway sucks. Like, you can't see anything as Yorm. Like, I could see the outline, but it, it's not its not right. You shouldn't have to play like that. Oh, I'm going to resume the, the footage once uh, this pause ends, by the way. Okay. The pause just ended. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I should not fight in those archways. I, they affect my vision so much. Also, I need to play defensively. She's killed me four times in a row now, I think. <laughs> because I had some kills, and then now she's gotten some kills. And now it's more less from, okay, I'm greedy, to more like I'm throwing now. So, yeah, we'll play back a little bit. She doesn't have defense. Since I have tier 2 defense, I should be able to fight her. I mean, she's half health right now. <laughs> There we go. It's so funny that I said I'm gonna play defensively, and then she just walks at me with half health on my side of the map, and it's like, never mind, I'm not gonna play defensively. I'm gonna chase you across the map. And hey, it worked out. Uh, she's only, mmm, she's alive very soon though. But I have an idea. Well, I'm stuck. Her ult is down. So we do this, now we use my two. I don't have the upgraded starter item yet, so I don't have quite that much damage, but I did take, you know, fourth of Phoenix. Here comes the oh, she's gonna, she's gonna stun gotcha. me. Oh, do I not get the... Okay, cool. I was gonna say, do I not get the move of speed if I get uh, revealed out of my three? And I guess so. You lose the move of speed. Good to be seen. Interesting. I didn't know that. But to be fair, I don't get revealed out of my three as you want very often. Did you get stunned out of it? Good damage. Good damage. Also, she has no anti heal, and I have a ton of life steal. So she is missing out big time on that. In fact, I don't like going double defense too often, but I, w I say this pretty consistently. If my opponent doesn't get defense, then I go double defense because it counters their build. It's less efficient for them to go full damage when I have double defense. Uh, then for them to go half That was auto attack, so all in one. I really, really hope I can get to level 20 to show you guys Diamond Arrow, because that's like the whole point of this. If the game ends before that, I can always do another Yorm game, but I really want to show that. Oh, shoot. Okay. Should have saved my two, so I could use my two for the extra auto attack duration. only take so much of that before Phoenix kills me. Just hazy Kadana against Yorm. Huh. 
If I was a wrecking, just just trying to think, like put myself in my opponent's shoes, right? And I'm gonna go divine right now. If I was a wrecking, I was against a Yorm. I would not go hasten Katana. Instead, I would go cooldown. That way, I could have my web up more often. Because if you web Yorm, it's almost better than the hasten Katana effect. No, it is better than the hasten Katana effect. Because you are on him that entire duration unless he ults. Or unless you're, like, trying to avoid him. Gotcha. Let's use my two once this runs out. Okay, that's bad. I'm dead, I'm dead. Unless? Unless? Unless I'm not dead? Unless? Oh, I shouldn't have used my blink. Oh, I don't have Divine Ruin right now. She doesn't have blink. I can heal. There we go. There we go. Kind of an interesting matchup. I was behind minions, so I was kind of safe. And also, I was healing so much with Bancroft's Typhons. No idea why she doesn't have that heal. I mean, it is beyond me. I usually go, in, go this build uh, thinking my opponent will get some anti-heal. But, uh, no, not at all. Because even if they get one anti-heal option, the power you get from Bancroft's Typhons is so much. You get Pen also. That's really good. And then for the times they're not applying anti-heal on you, you get a lot out of it. Yeah, right, we need to run away. I can also buy a Diamond Arrow. I might die here. If I die here, it's okay because I have fire minions. Yeah, we're so dead. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Fire minions? No, I'm dead. <laughs> That's okay. That should be okay. She didn't even push up her minions, so her wave is super far behind. So I lose. I get her phoenix, and I lose nothing. Uh, let's upgrade this first. We'll get some wards in case she tries some silly stuff. Yeah, so when I use my 1, 3, and 2, I can auto-attack for a few seconds without... Well, for 1.5 seconds without losing my attack speed. And during that duration, it's just really good. Let's offer this. So I take my Your middle phoenix is under attack. Your middle just kidding. Just kidding, she takes a phoenix anyways. Oh no, I can't chase her. This is really bad for me to fight, to be honest. It's weird to fight having to use my three without putting any pools. You're mine now. No! <laughs> yes! The upgraded sprint, man! <laughs> the upgraded sprint on your with this build is so hilarious. How much did my auto text do that? 720 and I wasn't auto cur that much. It's just the the diamond arrow upgrade. I I wasn't even able to show the diamond arrow too much, but I mean, you know, I'm hitting 66 in auto like very fast. Second, I don't know if I go two walls or not. But... Yeah, we have to back up a little bit. Oh, she's responding quickly. Get the titan. End it with the two. GG. I I did almost throw that game. Uh, there's there's no need to say that. I I I know, but that ending was pretty hype. <laughs> it makes it was a closer game because of the because of the dives. If you think about it, look at it from a positive perspective. Those times I died, you know, it was it's like I almost got the kill. You know what I mean? Rather than playing it safe, which isn't as fun. I'm just I'm just making stuff up. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was a fun game. Uh, the ending was super, super close. Uh, I, I thought I was dead there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you guys could, you know, like, comment, sub. That that helps a ton. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.